The following video presentation is brought to you by Nationwide Insurance. Nationwide is on your side. Anyways, let's get into our first commercial of the day. I'm a teenage girl. My BFF Becky texts and says she's kissed Johnny. Well, that's a problem because I like Johnny. Now, I'm emotionally compromised and whoopsies. I'm all, OMG, Becky's not even hot. And if you've got cut rate insurance, you could be paying for this yourself. So get Allstate. You can save money and be better protected from mayhem like me. Mayhem is everywhere. So get an Allstate agent. Are you in good hands? The target audience for this ad would be anyone who would want protection against accidents. The logical fallacies that are in this ad are false dilemma because it gives you this idea that you either switch to Allstate and you get great coverage, or you don't and you won't have good coverage for your severe accidents. It also shows hasty generalization because it doesn't give enough evidence to show why Allstate's coverage is better than any other insurance company. It also includes begging the question because it just says that other insurance companies won't be able to cover the costs of severe accidents and it gives the audience a strong reason to doubt that Allstate's coverage is better than other companies. It also includes straw man because Allstate ridicules the other companies using a really simple example of coverage which was the stereotypical teenage girl that gets into an accident. Last was Appeal to False Authority that had Dean Winters as an actor who most likely doesn't know much about insurance, but is still the main figure for this commercial and advises the audience to switch to Allstate. The overall message was that switching to Allstate would provide better coverage for accidents than any other insurance company. The persuasion of message was how they used a realistic example of an accident that could possibly happen and then saying that Allstate would be able to cover this accident, which makes the audience feel that they would be more secure with Allstate. Having a life insurance policy has always been very important to me. But as I grew older, the premiums became larger than my income. I couldn't let the policy lapse. It just didn't seem fair. That's when my son told me about Ideal Life Insurance Redemption. Call or log on today and find out how Ideal can help. Thank you, Ideal. What a great commercial. The target audience can be characterized primarily by older people of the middle to lower class. I mean, as the lady depicts. Uh, logical fallacies could include hasty generalization. As the lady in the commercial is really just stating that ideal life insurance was easier to afford, she doesn't provide any evidence or statistics of how it actually helped her to save money. She's really just making a statement. The commercial also creates a false dilemma as it emphasizes the idea that if you're an older person who's somewhat poor, at least maybe middle class, if you really want to continue living a sustainable life where you're not constantly worried about what you can afford and what you can't afford, switching to ideal life insurance is by far your best option. So it's kind of creating that either or situation. Uh, additionally, Ad Populum can also be seen in this commercial. The lady pretty much bases her decision to use life, ideal life insurance based on her son's recommendation and thus the lady herself is using popularity as evidence to support her switch to ideal. The overall message of this advertisement is that those with a low income primarily older, older age, um, who can no longer afford more expensive options of life insurance, should definitely consider using or switching to ideal life insurance because it's a very reliable and affordable insurance option. The advertisement uses multiple techniques to persuade this message to the audience. 
Um, the main one being using a real life example of an elderly lady who switched to Ideal Life Insurance and clearly had a happy experience and saved money. Um, but more subtly, the commercial also uses juxtaposition. Uh, in the beginning of the commercial, there's kind of a sadder music and also the tone of the lady is a little bit sadder as the lady's describing her old insurance policies, but then towards the end of the commercial when she explains that she switched to Ideal, uh, the music becomes happier and she sounds happier, so it kind of subtly captures the audience's emotion and makes them feel like they want to switch. Uh, I think I have the window seat. You better double check that, my friend. Don't think we don't know who you are. Yeah, I'm Aaron Rodgers. No, that's not it. You're that State Farm discount double check guy. Discount double check. Thanks to the hundreds you saved us, we could upgrade the grill class. Grill class? Your tongs are in your seat back. Save with a discount double check today. Roger! Discount double check! Get to a better state, State Farm. The target audience for this ad is adult football fans because Aaron Rodgers is a very popular football player. Um, the logical fallacies used are circular reasoning because the ad continuously uses discount double check as evidence of why consumers should use State Farm. Hasty generalization is also used because there is a lack of evidence to support why discount double check benefits consumers. Appeal to false authority is used because the Bear fans are calling Aaron Rodgers a State Farm discount double check guy, which places him as a figure who uses State Farm, even though the Bear fans and Aaron Rodgers are unlikely to be knowledgeable in terms of insurance. Ad populum is also used because the commercial implies that the audience should switch to State Farm just because Aaron Rodgers uses it and really he's just a football player who probably doesn't know much about insurance. The overall message of the ad is that switching to State Farm will allow consumers to benefit through the discount double check program and the persuasion of the message is implying that Aaron Rodgers uses State Farm and discount double check so it's saying that others will benefit too if they switch to State Farm.